Good morning, Nash. I'm Jason Earle. And I'm Troy Stoudemire, welcoming you to another installment of the greatest episode on this side of the Mississippi. It's Tiger Nation, in case if you didn't catch it the first time. In their second meet of the week, the North Allegheny gymnastics team put forth another strong performance on senior night. North Allegheny took second place with a team score just two points behind first place Hampton. Honored seniors were NA gymnasts Kylie Raddick and Leah Elmore. North Allegheny returns to action tonight with a home meet against Fox Chapel. The boys ice hockey team took on Cannon McMillan Friday night with Joe Zappia sidelined for most of the game with an undisclosed injury. Junior Dawson Richard and sophomore Billy Carr were forced to step up to the plate. Dawson put up two tallies and hats went flying for Billy Carr as he scored all three of his goals in the third period. Captain Nate Taylor and Cameron Sinceri also tickled the twine for the Tigers. Joe Hubert stopped 22 of 25 shots, and the Tigers look to take down Peters Township and close in on first place tonight at 7. Concluding the section's schedule on Wednesday night, the North Allegheny wrestling team defeated the Pine Richland Rams for a road victory 59-15. North Allegheny finishes the section campaign with a 4-1 mark ahead of the Section 3 AAA tournament next week. The Tigers will take part in the Allegheny County Tournament this weekend. The boys' hoopball team took on arch-rival Pine Richland and lost in a disappointing fashion. The boys looked as if they had the game in the bag as the first closed and with a score of 41-29 to in favor of the Tigers. However, the Rams never gave up and held the Tigers to 12 points in the entire second half. Like many of you, I was hoping that was a statistical error. But the Tigers fell short with a final score of 62-53 and sophomore Curtis Aiken had 20 points and senior Keegan Phillips had 12. The boys look to bounce back after the Horde loss as the Tigers take on Butler tonight at 8 at home. The North Allegheny girls basketball team earned a hard-fought road victory on Monday night over the Pine Richland Rams 55-50. Senior Abby Gonzalez led the way for the Tigers with 3 steals and 13 points, while Taylor Lake notched a double-double with 15 points and 12 rebounds. With the win, North Allegheny remains undefeated in section play with an 8-0 mark and a 13-3 record overall. The Lady Tigers host Butler tonight at 6.30, looking to pick up their seventh consecutive victory. And that concludes today's coverage of your North Allegheny Tiger Varsity Athletics. Just over two weeks remain in NABA's regular season, and teams are beginning to show desperation as the playoffs draw near. Today, I welcome our special guest host for today's coverage, Billy Wagner. Hello everyone. I'm glad to be here while Noah Wessel is absent. And let's just go over our highlight matchups, why don't we? All right, I'd like to start us off with Team Truman versus Team Uline. I believe the win will go to Team Truman because his team's really good and they work hard. What do you guys think? Well, I'm going to have to take Team Truman as well. Um, I think that's a team a lot of people underestimated at the beginning of the season. Um, probably the highest scoring team in the league right now. Um, you got to take them in this game. Troy? Well, I think I'm going to have to go with the underdog in this one then with Maxfield Porritt for Team Uline. I think he's going to be the big X factor and he's going to have a big game. Okay. So, next we go to one of the biggest matchups in NABA this week. Team Eichner versus Team Fishball. Um, I know Team Eichner hasn't been picked a lot this year, but I really think that they have a change of pace coming after they've had their first tie, and I believe they will defeat Team Fishball. What would you guys like to add to this? Well, Billy, I 100% agree. I think Team Eichner's got a lot of momentum right now. Um, Chris Eichner, Eric Mancini, quite the duo on that team. Uh, one of the biggest three-point threats in the league in Mancini. Um, I like Eichner with the momentum to uh, win this game. I'm going to have to agree. Team Eichner pulling up that upset tie against Team Earl, who was, who was pretty much just given to win that one, but they didn't come out. That's all right. But I also picked Team Eichner to win. 
Okay, so next we go to Team Stultz versus my team, Team Midgley. Um, I'm probably going to pick my team because I have confidence that we can win the game. And that's really good. I think we'll twinkle the twine. How about you, Troy? Well, I disagree. I think if Team Stoltz, it, uh, Zach Gregg comes out to play, I think they're going to have a great, easy win. I'm going to have to take Team Midgley in that one. And uh, I believe that's all the time we have today for Tiger Nation. Um, We'll keep you up to date on all the news for this year's NATO season as the playoffs continue to come closer. I'm Jason Earl. And I'm Troy Stoudemire. See you next week.